All right, it's me again. Uh, what the fuck happening to the YouTube atheist community? Yep, that's what it's going to be. <laughs> so, um, I don't know where to start. I'll start with stick cam, I guess. What the hell? Uh, last night, a uh, pretty good night. Uh, went okay, anyway. Uh, a lot of a lot of jerks. I mean, a lot of trolls popping in the room and popping out and doing their little thing. Kind of annoying. Uh, the room had a bit of lag in it, too, most of the night. So, sorry about that. But, uh... You know, did uh, a lot of people hung in there all night, which was surprising. Um, you know, pretty. Uh, uh, there's always a lot of good people docked up, so it's pretty good. Pretty good conversation. You know, got into some arguing about the whole. Uh, you know, with Matt and the you know the phantasmagorical type rhetoric and theories. Uh, you know, that were something somehow more than uh, you know our biology would dictate. That you know, when you put our little parts together, our little animalistic parts, you know, or organs uh, <laughs> that uh, all the other animals have, that somehow we equal something special and they don't. Uh, so we kind of defeated all that kind of rubbish. But anyway, it was, uh, it was a good night. Uh, Karina was in, she was in uh, pretty long and uh, she had a lot of input and it was good. She made this really, you know, great video this week called Evil. Uh, so. Uh, you ought to go, if you haven't seen that, you ought to see it. It's nine minutes, which is long for her videos, but uh, they're a really quality nine minutes. I mean, I wouldn't even say it's just about evil. It's just a lot of good arguments about, you know, why it's pretty stupid to be invested in the God delusion. And, uh, you know, just putting forward, you know, these basic ethical concepts. But anyway, so this is good, good video. Um, what else? <sighs> yeah, well, there's lots of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, um, I don't even know what, to, you know, you can, no point in listing all the people that came in the room or out of the room or had something rational to say. But, uh, it was just, it was a good night. We'll just leave it at that and move on to, uh, whatever, atheist videos of the week. <laughs> yeah, forget it, right? Lost cause. Um, so anyway, there's a little too be serious conflict. I don't know if she made another video. I would doubt it, hopefully. But Grey Tex had to throw his two cents in, and I guess he had to because she mentioned him. And, uh, somehow that's my fault. And, uh, so he just decides to, you know, call everybody crazy, which, you know, fine. But it's, you know, we're just getting into the nut, calling the nut nutty thing here now. Um, no real point in that. Um, you know, mine and Grey Texas argument goes, precedes all of this crap just because we fundamentally disagree over what approach will migrate the human psychology and the memes in the direction they need to go in. And he's one of those, it's like the difference in parents, you know, some parents say, well, let's do all this positive reinforcement, you know, so even if the kid you know, shits his pants, call it brilliant, you know, just keep encouraging the little fucker. And, you know, I'm one of the parents who says, no, if he's an asshole, call him an asshole, because that's the only way he's going to do better. Uh, he's got to be called a dumb fucking little bastard or a fucktard or a moron, and uh, he's got to, got to have some encouragement to improve, and not to be satisfied with himself. You really got to kick the ego early. And, uh, you know, when you're talking about how to get human beings to migrate to an, an entirely different philosophy where their focus isn't so much self, but uh, the substance of what they are, consciousness, when they become defensive and protective of consciousness and not just their personal welfare, uh, you're not going to get there by, uh, you know, patronizing, by, you know, who, um, having some sort of special Olympics. I mean, Great Tech's approach is, yeah, let's, if we have the special Olympics long enough, uh, you know, one of the little fucktards is going to write Shakespeare or something. And that ain't going to happen. So, got to do better than that anyway. Uh, so fuck Great Tech's. I mean, it really is just pointless. I mean, you know, there's just so many ironies in it. And then even his own commenters, I read a couple of the comments and, you know, they're, they make some Reddit comment like, Ted Nugent, you know, uh, dead Ted Nugent look-alike, whatever kind of bullshit. And the irony is, is 
Great Tech's whole objection is to this classification and this abuse of nonsense rhetoric. You know, Holocaust denier, Holocaust abuser, that kind of stuff. And uh, his own subscribers are using the same kind of bullshit weapons. So it's just kind of ironic. But whatever. All our subscribers are, you know, kind of ironic imbeciles. Not all, but all of us have ironic imbeciles as subscribers, I guess is the way to put that. So anyway, boy, a lot of background noise today. Fucking locusts it's getting down to their last few days. So, you know, they want to get their last good sex licks in, so they're making lots of racket. Um, uh, um, yeah, I'll just um again. So what else? Uh, I did want to mention Existential Cat again. At least she did. She's put up another one of her paintings for auction. I think there's like three days left. Uh, self-portrait. One of her first, her first self-portrait. Uh, you know, when she's still in high school. And, you know, theoretically, as investments go, this would be something worth investing in, I think. I mean, she is talented. Could be that she's going to be somebody, you know. She has the potential, let's just say, as a... She's smart, and she's got some skills, creativity, all that kind of bullshit. And uh, so, you know, if you're going to invest in some person's future, she's the kind of person you'd invest in. So, I'd say, if you got some extra cash... It might be something worth buying, but I guess you really should buy it just because uh, you like the art. You know, it's a it's a good painting. Not, you know, I'm not gonna say it's you know belongs in a museum, but it's it's damn competent anyway. And uh, you know, she's good to look at. So right there, you get to win-win, and maybe you know it'll be worth some money. Uh, but anyway, irrelevant. So I'll post a link to that. All right, let's see, what else? Uh, Dario, uh, mysteriously, you know, kind of, uh, closed, uh, moved his videos. So apparently there's some gremlins running around his house, and he has some sort of theory, you know, that they're up to no good, and they're gonna, you know, tell the grand poobah or something, that he's <laughs> making some nasty videos or something, I don't know. But it's probably something like that. But he'll be back, you know, once the gremlins go away, and they usually go away, you know, the first Thursday after it rains really hard. So it might be pretty soon. But uh, apparently there's something like that going on. I don't know. You know, everybody's got to be a little bit nutty. And so, you know, Dario has a little bit of that too. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see what happens. I don't have the details is what I'm basically saying. I don't know what the fuck's going on, so I'll just make it up a story. But it is uh, nothing to worry about. Uh, his head isn't detaching or anything. It's just a, a temporary channel redesign. We'll just call it that. Uh, what else? Uh, helicopter pilot guy. I really have to call him by his name. It's some kind of eulogy something or other. Uh, maybe, I, maybe his name's Ted or something. Maybe I'll just call him Ted or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'll post a link again. Um, I like this guy. Uh, even He can even talk this Zen Buddhist stuff, and it doesn't drive me insane. Because he's talking about it in a very pragmatic, constructive way. Not a, you know, a psychological way, not a philosophical way. It's, he's not defining it as a truth. He's defining it as a practical way to get the most out of your brain. To keep your brain from fucking you up so much that you can't even think straight anymore. And I think that's... Uh, it's really military, but it's really, it's really sensible. Uh, it's straight line kind of thinking, in a way. Um, even though it's bullshit, it's kind of like just saying you have to, you have to feed your psychology uh, to be able to get any use out of your intellect. And uh, sort of, that's what it's saying. Not so much feed, but you have to placate your psychology. Let's say. Uh, so anyway, but uh, yeah, he's really likable got a no bullshit kind of approach kind of straight line talk uh, really good hopefully we can have an argument about something sometime and just see how that goes because I think he'd be a good arguer so anyway uh, next who's next what's next wasn't a whole lot else was there what did atheists do this week the grand atheist video of the week 
Uh, well, you could talk about Karina's last week's video, which was pretty funny. Did the little outtake clips kind of thing. Different atheists, and that was... I mean, I hadn't seen the upside down Mendham video in a while, so that was kind of funny. Uh, who else? I mean, Nicotine made a few videos, but yeah, I didn't much care for them. Uh, what else? What else? Come on, there's got to be something else. Oh, Azrenok made a made one of his kind of slick videos. The uh, what, do you, what do you call it? It's creative writing. It's not really poetry, but it's really creative writing. And he had the text doing all kinds of shit with the editing. So uh, you know, a plus on the uh, production values. Uh, the message was also good, but it's not like a, you know, change the world kind of message. It's just kind of a, you know, human beings are a little fucking retarded kind of message. Which is a good message, I think. Uh, but anyway, yeah, just good. It's well